Hi, it's Adam Heller, creator of Zero Pain Now and author of the book Zero Pain Now. Welcome to this video. A study was just released, actually three studies, a meta-study was just released uh, regarding fibromyalgia. And what they said was, these studies all showed that exercise lessens fibromyalgia pain. Exercise lessens fibromyalgia pain. That's the science, that's the latest study. Now, not surprising at all because when you really understand fibromyalgia unfortunately the medical community has not really gotten this one right because fibromyalgia really isn't a disease and it isn't a physical manifestation yes the pain is real yes the associated depression and fatigue and all the other side effects are very real but what we found after a decade and a half of, of brain research and pain research and brain pain research is that fibromyalgia almost always originates in the brain and there are actual physical changes that manifest in pain and tingling, burning, numbness, weakness and then those side effects that are awful, the depression, the fatigue, the malaise, all the things that go with pain. So. It's really interesting that these studies show that exercise limits pain or lessens pain. The problem is the exercise lessens the pain and then the pain comes back and the suffering comes back and the discomfort comes back. And the reason is they're only attacking, the exercise is only attacking the symptom of the problem. Because there is a huge link between pain and blood flow and the oxygen that's in blood. So when people exercise, it increases blood flow, it increases oxygen, and you get some temporary relief. That's why often people put heat on a bad back or a bad shoulder or a bad whatever, and they get some temporary relief. Well, the heat doesn't unbulge a disc or unherniate a disc or unwhip a lash or unfibromyalgia. All it does is increase blood flow, and with blood comes oxygen, and that's what makes the pain go away for a little while. But here's the thing you really want to get. The cause of the symptoms of fibromyalgia actually originate in your brain, not in your body. And in your brain is where we manage emotions and stress and tension. And everybody knows that stress and tension exacerbates pain. But what you probably didn't know is that what causes stress and tension is actually what causes the pain blamed on fibromyalgia. And what happens is, it starts in the brain, there are actual physical changes in your autonomic nervous system, that's a subsystem of your central nervous system, and it controls blood flow. So what happens is your blood vessels constrict a little bit, there's a little less blood flow, and there's oxygen in blood, and what happens is there's this slight oxygen deprivation and that's what's really causing the pain, tingling, burning, numbness, weakness, all those, those problems with fibromyalgia. So what the study showed is accurate, that exercise is a great thing, but it's only part of the solution because that's only going to give some temporary relief. When you understand what's really causing it and how you're creating the stress, how you're creating the tension, how it all starts in here, you can make a very simple change that will eradicate the entire problem once and for all rather than the old way of just managing the symptoms. Because what we found at Zero Pain Now, Zero Pain Now isn't pain management, it's pain banishment. So if you'd like to arm yourself with more information, if you'd like to really understand how you can heal your pain with the latest neuroscience, with the latest neuropsychology, with the latest psychophysiology, with the, li the latest neurolinguistics, with the latest studies on the mind-body dynamic, Go to zeropainnow.com, click on the button how this works and you'll really understand what's going on and how you can eliminate your pain once and for all. So I hope I've provided some real value in this video for you. I really appreciate your watching it. And in the meantime, here's to your pain-free life.